صحيحه Hello everyone and welcome back to another unboxing and short review video this time of the new Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 laptop. Now the reason it's called 2-in-1 is because it actually doubles up as a laptop and a tablet at the same time with the screen being on 360 degree hinges. Now this is a work based machine, I will stress that now. It's not a gaming machine and you probably won't be able to play many games on there but we will be running through some benchmarks anyway on the graphical performance of this laptop. So the actual laptop was sent to me in this very small, very sleek black box. There's a Dell logo sported on the top just here. Now the laptop has been open before for probably from a previous reviewer so I'm not going to be able to give you a full unboxing experience but the product is still in here and we can still run through all the features of the product anyway. So once you're inside the packaging you're greeted with this 13 inch laptop. Now the actual whole entire laptop, the whole entire surface area is covered in a brushed aluminium finish which actually gives it a really premium feel. It actually is quite heavy compared to other laptops of this size, other, other 13 inch screen laptops, but it actually feels quite premium. Now the reason you would buy something like this is for its 360 degree hinges. If you take a look, that's technically what a normal laptop would look like. And then you can fold the actual screen back on itself to turn it into a tablet. I actually didn't mind working like this, the actual screen itself is pretty accurate but I do know on some applications and of course if you are using it for work as well then using it as additional laptop setup is probably the best way to go. On the right hand side you have a Kensington lock, you have a micro USB input, you have a micro SD input and you also have the power button. This little thing here is a speaker so the speakers aren't actually very good. So going down the actual left hand side you've got a micro USB and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and then the other speaker the left hand side speaker is there as well now the nice thing about dell laptops is the quality of their screen the screen on here is really very very good it's very sharp it's very colorful it's not as bright as you might really want a screen to be but but that's okay i think consuming media on here like netflix or amazon prime or even a YouTube video for example, does actually look pretty good. So one thing actually worried me about the actual laptop, but it feels like it's been built really well, and that's the actual hinges either side. Now if you remember back to our Dell Latitude review, the hinge went across the entire front of the laptop, but on here you've only got the two hinges on the left and the right. But they still feel very solid, and they don't feel as if they're going to snap anytime soon. Even if you're folding it multiple times back and forth, it still doesn't feel like it's going to really come up, come apart. It doesn't feel very flimsy at all. And Dell have used some very premium materials to put this laptop together. Now, one thing I will point out to you is you probably noticed that there are no USBs ports on the actual laptop. But instead, Dell have opted for something that Apple have been doing for a little while now is micro USB to USB dongles, which actually look like this. So this would plug directly into the side of the laptop. Actually, it will probably plug into the right hand side as the left hand micro USB port is used for charging. So you plug that straight in and it's an easy, easy fit. It's not magnetized, unfortunately, like on some of the MacBooks. But that turns that port then into a standard USB 3 port. The only problem with that is that you have to remember to carry the dongle around with you if you are going to be using it with things like memory sticks or external hard drives. As it is a work-based laptop, then I should think you probably will. The actual quality, you've got this kind of carbon fiber finish to the actual front of the laptop. Plus you've also got a very, very thin bezel around the screen, which is rather nice. The screen just takes up so much space and it feels a lot bigger than it actually is because the bezel is a lot smaller than you would expect. So the Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 laptop can come in a number of configurations and you can find all of those configurations on Dell's website. They start at £1,379 and for that you will get an Intel i7-7Y54 processor, you'll get 8 gigabyte of RAM and 256 gigabyte SSD hard drive. Now the model that we've actually got here comes in at 1449 and the processor is the only thing that's different. So in this laptop you've got an i7 7Y75 processor so it's slightly faster than its base model but it's not as fast 
as a full size i7 7 series processor. The reason Dell have actually done this is to keep the laptop as thin as possible. So it's a fanless processor, no actual cooling needed for the processor itself. It means that the laptop, yes, the laptop can stay super thin. I mean, look at the thickness of that compared to, it's very thin, it's very, very portable, and it would fit in a handbag, no problem, or even a, a, a small laptop bag or your backpack to carry around for work. Now, the biggest downfall with the actual laptop itself that we've found after using it for a a week or so is the fact that it's got that is the fact that it's got that lesser processor in it so it's using the YC a Y processor rather than a full size Intel i7 processor so you've got companies like Lenovo or HP have got a couple of two in one laptops out at the moment and they're just absolutely destroying this in terms of performance because they're using full size processors where this is Dell have opted for this Y range of processors on the Dell if you are going to be using it for word documents and media consumption online then yeah it's not too bad but if you're going to be multitasking if you've got several internet tabs open at once you've got a word processor up and you're also playing a music on Spotify you're gonna find that this laptop is going to start to slow down and become a little bit laggy which is a little bit of a shame Now the battery life they said on here, and we actually pulled up the hours from uh, PC Mark 10, is around six hours, which it's okay. It's not a bad battery life at all, and it will certainly get you through half a day, but you're gonna have to carry a charger on you. The laptop does come with a charger, and it's a very, very small power brick, so it's not gonna take up much room in a bag anyway. So inside every single model, of the XPS 13 that Dell offer is an Intel integrated 615 graphics chip. So it's not gonna be able to play your AAA titles. It's not really gonna play many older games either, but you could get away with a MOBA, a very, very low graphic quality MOBA, like League of Legends set to low settings, for example, you could probably get away with. But I'm not sure you'd wanna play on a keyboard this size either. It has got a very, very small keyboard, although it's very nice to type on as well, actually using the keyboard and even the touchpad is, is quite a nice experience compared to other laptops that we've tried. You're not going to really be able to play many games as your hands are just been so close together. So one very strange thing I thought with this laptop is that Dell have actually put the webcam at the bottom, which if you're going to be using something like Skype, it's just going to be filming your chin. I don't know if that's really a very, very good design. If you turn the laptop over and you are using it like this and you're using the actual back of the laptop as some kind of stand, it does then put the webcam at the top, but it's still not really directly firing at your face. It's firing at sort of an, a, a raised angle. So the only way you're really going to be able to use it is if you hold the laptop and the tablet and you hold it like this so then you can use it. But I mean even still the actual screen doesn't rotate so it's still going to be at the bottom anyway. So just bear that in mind as well. So there are a few things I think you should consider before investing in a Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 laptop. The first is it looks fantastic. It's one of the best looking laptops at this size and the 2-in-1s that I've actually seen. It's nice and thin. It's got all the ports that you need, albeit the dongle that you have to use for your USB port. The charger is a nice size as well. It's built very well. Hinges aren't feel like they're not going to snap. Now, the only other downfall you have, I would say, is performance, especially in that processor being the wire processor compared to HP's and Lenovo's two-in-one options on the market. The only other thing I would say is down for one here is battery life. I would have expected a little bit longer than six hours, although six hours I think is passable. I would have liked to have seen it maybe hit nine, 10, maybe even 12 hours, at least a working day's worth of time. Most people were in their office for sort of nine hours a day, so nine hours would have been an ideal number. But the another nice thing about the laptop as well is the fact that you can consume media and it looks good. The screen is um, on this particular laptop, a 1080p screen, whereas on the top tier model, you have a 4K screen. So do bear that in mind as well. I think the top tier model does come in at about 1,700 pounds, but you do get the 4K screen. The, the, the specification is pretty much the same across the board, 1080p's on the lesser models and a 4K screen on the top. So this Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 does follow in the same fashion as the previous XP, XPS model, which was actually a fan favorite by Dell. So it got very, very good reviews. It was very, very popular. So they decided to turn that model into a two-in-one model so they they paired it up with the actual tablet which 
it does work. I mean, if you want to quickly turn on the laptop, you can switch it to tablet mode. Oh, and one other thing, if you are in tablet mode, if you have got your laptop in tablet mode, then the keys underneath that your hands are going to be hot resting on actually disable so you can't press any of the keys when it's in tablet mode which is nice although it doesn't feel great holding your laptop like this and holding the keys down at, at least you know that you're not going to be, to be activating anything you don't know what you're activating you can actually use it in tablet mode as well so it brings up all of these pan all of these panels very very similar to windows 8 and then you can open up all of your other installed applications on there as well is it a good laptop i, th I think it's a I think it's a good laptop, I think. So that's been our review of the Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 laptop. If you enjoyed the review, then click that thumbs up button. It helps out a lot. Please do subscribe to keep up with all of our latest technology and gaming videos. Also, leave us a comment below letting us know what you think of these 2-in-1 laptops and whether you would invest that kind of money into a 2-in-1 laptop, especially the Dell XPS 13, or whether you would go for something a little bit more powerful like the HP or the Lenovo counterparts. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next review.